Hi Anna. How's it? Oh, you can me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've just uh, I've just picked Anna up, and we're just going uh, going to take the quilts to the long arm quilters. Yep. Uh, it's that day. We're it doing is. that finally. Meeting in a lay by, like some yeah, sort of meet, like, <laughs> like, some spies or something. Like, yeah. Have you got the Have you got the papers? I certainly do. What's the password? Can't tell you. <laughs> you can tell me, surely. Oh, these guys oh, oh, sorry, we can't tell these guys. <laughs> okay, so um, it's. I just wanted to say a little bit of something to, to folk who think we're going to Scotland, <laughs> because we are going to Scotland. Yeah, but, but not the, not the Scotland you're imagining. No, it's not sort of like big soaring mountains and deer with antlers and men playing bagpipes and locks and and. Uh, <laughs> And people uh, hunting haggises. It's not that. <laughs> it's actually not far uh, f over the border because I, I live here in Northumberland. Uh, we live uh, here in Northumberland. And it's actually not far from the Scottish border. No. Uh, we don't have to drive too far before we're in Scotland. And Kath, who used to be the Cumbrian long arm quilter and lived down in Cumbria. And, and ages ago, I went down and visited her mm. a couple of years ago now. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, I've packed a few snacks. Uh, mm. You've seen a little bit of film of them. Um, I filmed making the snacks. Oh, nice. And so that when I get the snacks out of here, they're on a cold pack. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's, here's your snacks, Anna. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> My goodness. So is this what you were expecting? <laughs> no, it's not, is it? <laughs> oh, really? Well, I'll I tell just, you what. You, you downplayed it. Put that on your knee, because you. this is so cold. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Oh, lush. Thing of beauty. I don't think we can actually eat it, can we? No, we'll just so admire nice. it. Okay. Right, <laughs> but it's on a cold pack. Okay. And we have some rice cakes as well. Lush. Thank um, you very much. Chocolate covered rice cakes. Well, I'll put them back in here, Anna, oh, right. because this is, they need to stay cold today. And I don't think we should sit in this lay by any longer. <laughs> I think we should go. All right. Okay. Amazing. Do, do you just want to have them on your knee and we'll just dip into them? You can do, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh dear. You alright? Oh, bag alert. Aha, excellent. Have you got the uh, suitcases? The red suitcases? The red suitcases. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst faker. I'm the worst faker. <laughs> There's a little smile on your face. <laughs> I haven't got the red suitcases, no, Anna. Okay. I've got all the quilts uh, piled up in the back of the car. Oh, good. Once I'd given them a final pressing and folded them neatly, I thought the last thing I want to do now is smash them back into the red suitcase. Yeah. So we'll carry them in carefully. Cool. <laughs> and we need them, know where we're going, but we're going. No, we are. <laughs> Have you got your sunglasses? I do. Sunglasses on? All right. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> See you in Scotland. See you in Scotland. <laughs> Is it straight on, Anna? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right on there? No. Oh, hold on to it. Okay. Is it actually filming? I think so. Is it the screen's gone flat? That's because you put your sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> inside the suitcase. No, no, you, sh you should keep that for now. Because yes. I thought that would be smashing them in. Right, yes. Okay then, so how do you want to do this? Wow. I, <laughs> I, have, I, was, I have an idea I might pin 
something onto them. Yes. Or you can. Yep. So that you know what we're doing. And yes, you call well, it we'll something. do them one at a time. Okay, how's the best way to do this then? So if you bring it over. All right. I'll take this morning's quilt off. Okay. <laughs> and then you can lay it on the frame. All right. Okay. So these are all quilts that my mum pieced. You know the history, don't you? But my mum made these. She died three and a half years ago now. And these have been in a suitcase unfinished all that time. Now, they're not spectacular, but they're my mum. <laughs> and so, well, they're, yeah. So that's the, the backing for that one. Fabulous. I've done my best. I've done the, yep, you stitched the around stitch the around the edge on all of them. Fantastic. I'll always do that now, since you told me that. It makes such a difference really to a finish, yeah. even on your own quilts. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And so, uh, and then I've tried as best I can to make at least four inches over Fabulous. Uh, for yeah. all of them and you're going to provide the wadding for these yes okay so really without getting too uh, attached to how they how they're finished you can suggest what, what kind of pattern we use on this because you've got way more um, <laughs> well you know what would look well I tend to look at the background yeah so here in your fabrics you've got flowers you've got leaves you've got the same in the, yeah, with the tone neutrals, on tone background yeah. so i would probably choose quite a swirly design because okay. this is strongly geometric okay and possibly again pick up on the flowers or right. the leaves okay okay so in that case then i think we can do go through these quite quickly yes because i'm just going to say yes yes i don't know like when you did the red quilt for me, yeah, and you, I said, I don't know what this is going to look like, and I loved what it looked like, <laughs> yes. and so I'm going to utterly trust you okay. to do that. Great. Brilliant. So that's number one. Oh, well, Fantastic. you call it what you like. Yep, so we'll put that as purple. Okay, purple. Purple will do. And, then, and that's a funny size as well. Mm. It's just like a weird sort of smallish single. I don't know. Fabulous. You fold them however yeah. you like. Okay. okay, this next one then. Oh, this is repaying all that careful folding. Oh, the log cabin. I, 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 I like this one. I do. Uh, I, I yes, like I do. Log cabin. So what do you do with a log cabin then? You have, again, tends to be something quite flowy. Okay. Or your other option is strongly geometric. Yeah. So I've done quite a lot of log cabin quilts with sort of squares on point. Yeah. So that can look very effective as do well. You know, I'm just going to say... Do go nuts like. <laughs> I, am, I am because i'd be interested to see what these look like coming back without me having much of an input into them well generally if it's perhaps for a male member of the family then i would i would possibly go more on the geometric and the, side the one that's coming up next has got mm. has got a blue background and i think that's a bit more masculine yes not to make judgments about these well, things but, absolutely not but, uh, but it gives you more flexibility well i'm gonna say do you like with that one as well Brilliant. Great. Excellent. Fantastic. Let me get number three up. So number three then. Oh, I love that one. I this this one that's coming, the square yeah, and square. Yeah, I think that yeah. was possibly one of my favourites. Oh, you, so you looked at them on the video, didn't you? I did. Okay. Yes. So the square and square then, yes. which um, I think it's almost my favourite too, and I put that blue back in with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now the blue, about the blue is I've joined it. but that's I That's not a problem. Right, good. I'm hoping you would say that. that. So the blue, the blue Ooh. one is um, again, um, I, I'm guessing if there's any of the guys in the family who want this. It's more likely. Is, it might be. I don't, yeah, it's up to them. Yeah. It's up to them. Okay. All right, so that's that one. Do what you like Fabulous. with that. But with that one, would you use a blue thread? Yes, absolutely. So I'll then put a pin in. Blue thread. Yeah, yes. okay. No problem. We've got a huge choice yeah. of blue thread, so okay. absolutely. All right. Blue thread for that one, and the the rest so far are white threads because the backgrounds yeah, are green neutral and white. depending neutral, on neutral. Yeah. yeah, so we'll go blue thread for that one. Yeah. Now this next one coming up, I'll let you put that one over there. This is a small one. Oh. Uh, this one is a, possibly a cock quilt or oh, a that's baby quilt. Quilty. That's the sort of pinwheel. Yeah, yeah, this is the little pinwheel one, oh. which I like a lot, and it's just a little cock quilt or yes. something or other, isn't it? And um, well, we, could, we do have a lovely design with butterflies. On, okay, really. Which I think might look nice, might look on, nice there. on there. Okay, good. Um, it would just 
Right. It's a good fluttery design, which I think will add movement. A fluttery to the design. Quilt. I love it. Yeah. I like how she's done the, the same. I like the strips. Yeah. yeah rather like than that. mixing them, yeah. I think that's very effective. Okay. So, and, and then you get this secondary block here. Yes. I'm all, I love secondary blocks. I do. Yeah, I really do. Designs love, with a secondary yeah. block that appears are my favourite piecing. I like piecing. those. Yeah. So that one then is. Um, yeah, again, do what you like. Mm. Uh, that one's Thinking got some, possibly butterflies. A little cream, uh, oh, cream background for that one. Brilliant. Again, much bigger than it needs to be, probably. Yes. Well, now, this one is the one I had the biggest head scratch about, if you remember. <laughs> I do. And um, yes. this one is what I'm calling, well, I can't remember what I called this one now. But this one. You've pieced I've, into I the have. Extra, yeah. I've made the backing for this one, has got a strip of this. I love them. Oh, has it? Yes, it has. Yes, but can you has. see what's happened there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, okay. good. I hoped you would. Okay. Uh, so that one, the back of that one, is actually loads of fun. I call them a Franken backing. I love a Franken backing. I love that's it exactly. when they've got bits yeah. joined in. And that's what that is. And I quite like. Um, I like that. I like. I like using extra blocks like that, yeah. either as quilt labels or as panels well, in the quilt. I resized it, if you remember. That's right, because it was an it awkward was a, shape. It was yeah. a funny shape. It was, yeah. I mean, I, I'm thinking about it. It probably would. I'm realising that she probably meant it to go down the sides of the bed. Perhaps, yes. And made it extra so wide, wide for that, that way. Yeah. So yeah. you have that one. Fantastic. And again, maybe a, a purple and matching in trend Ooh, with I that thing. This yes. colour? I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I have some lovely purples. Fantastic. Are you going to enjoy doing these? Oh, good. <laughs> good. That's the best bit of my job anyway, is the variety of quilts I get okay. from very modern to very traditional. Okay. I love seeing them all without having to piece them all. Okay. <laughs> but of course these are even more special because they well, have such meaning behind and them. And I think a lot of quilters, mm. look, I mean how many quilters are there out there with loads of quilt tops? There are probably quite. quite a lot, aren't there? Yes. And yes. for me I like to go through the whole process and I love to hang quilt. I really yes. enjoy that part, but the prospect of hand quilting all of these. Yes, and I, I think all over edge to edge quilting with a pantograph design particularly suits quilts that are going to see a lot of use. Yeah. So that someone's going to let the kid use as a picnic blanket in exactly. the garden, drag through the mud, exactly. or the dog and sits I think on some it. Some of these would be great for that. Absolutely. And there are young people in, in the extended family. Fabulous. Uh, you know, there's kids yeah. who, who might you want to use them like yes. that. But I have no idea who's going to end up with what. Mm. Uh, but I'm just going to let them all decide who wants what at the end of this process. We're not finished. Oh, hey! <laughs> okay, we've got two more. Uh, yeah, two more. One, two. And so this one. Oh. This wow. was the. Uh, now this one's got this. That's the 16 patching stars. With yeah. stars that okay, come. there you are. Snowball, snowball corners. Snowball corners. There's loads <laughs> yeah. of threads that I haven't got. Don't more. worry, I'll take the Snowball off as I go. 16 patch. Yeah. Quite scrappily made. I like scrappy quilts. Yeah, but uh, and for me, it's as she was getting older and older, the accuracy's gone a bit. You can see the she progression. She's in their 90s making these, you know. Goodness Kat. me, yeah. I hope I'm still quilting at that age. Well, yeah. <laughs> so that one then, do as you wish with that one. Fantastic. And with the, in a nice white. And then yeah. this one is a... Oh, again, the string quilt. Is yes. Lovely. And now, this was the one that... Um, I messed about with this as well, uh, and <laughs> what I did with, with this one. Let's okay. Let's have a let's look have at a it good look. because I had to make one more block. That's right. Yes. This was again was another weird shape. Yes. And 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 as I said in the first quilt about this, my mum would not have minded me doing this no, at all. No. And so what I did was I took one strip off the edge and put it along the bottom and then made the extra block and I had to make it. one extra block and That's I challenge hard. anybody to, to, to find which block it was exactly. but one of the corner blocks I made Wonderful. but I made them all from her scraps and bits and pieces because I went to visit her sewing room which yes so was... it's never going to know and it'll no, blend beautifully no and it could be any one of these corners Absolutely. I can't remember which one it is myself and I've got this backing Ooh. for that again I think another lilac thread I think a lilac thread definitely and think yeah. maybe again um, I, th I I keep saying I think this is my favourite, but I don't know. <laughs> I like them all. Yeah. So I don't know how many that was. Was it seven? <laughs> I think it was. One. Yeah, I think two, it was seven. Three, four, five, 
something like that. Something like that. Yeah. You'll you'll know when you get to the bottom of the oh, pile. Yeah. There's one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's again. Yeah, that's so you m- make uh, and you, I know that sometimes you put things on Instagram. Yes. As you're quilting them, go ahead and do that. Brilliant. Because actually, I saw a comment the other day saying, "Looking forward to when you take us to see Kath." Yes. I'm going to follow her as well. So that when she's quilting your mum's quilts, I'll see. Yes, I've already so, been asked by one of your ladies. And I said, yes, of course, I'll be happy if Kate is to put video. Yeah. More than happy yes. about those ones. Absolutely fine. Yes. So that then is... Um, is that's your mum's treasures. That's quilts. my mum's treasures. Quilty hugs. That's yeah. what they are to me. Yes, they are, aren't they? Yes. And they're going to, finally going to see the light of day. Absolutely. Uh, yes. I've got a lot of binding to do when I get that. <laughs> I don't envy you that. No. Although to be fair, it's my favourite part. Of the I process. like binding. Yeah, I'm not sure I like binding seven quilts one after the other, but I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> I also thought I'd, I'd, I'd do a label. Absolutely. I so think that's important. People know where they've come from. Yes. And, uh, and if family are watching this, you can start putting dibs on the ones you want now. <laughs> <laughs> get your requests in. Get your requests that's in fantastic. now. Okay, so that's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, and um, I'll I'll pop back up and pick them up. Wonderful. Uh, but there's no hurry, Kat. Okay. Yeah. No hurry at all. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we look forward to seeing Kath again uh, when I come and collect all these quilts. But really, there's no hurry. If other people come in with a priority, yeah. then do that. They've been sitting in a suitcase for three years. <laughs> they can wait. So they can wait a, la- a little that's while fine. longer. No one's going to be. Uh, hurrying for them so we're going to go uh, and um, discover what the locality has uh, has on offer for us now thank you so much Pleasure. absolutely brilliant Pleasure. thank you that's great so I just said to Kath I said are you just a long on quilter or are you a quilter too of course she is and so she's got out some of her quilt tops to show us now then what do you think about that one I love the fabrics are they any line or just your scrap basket or what? No, are they? Um, they're by Jen Kingwell. From Jen Oda. Kingwell. Yeah. So you get sort of six across the width of the fabric, with the black line between. Oh. So it's a wonderful way to get a huge range of fabrics without having to buy oh, a lot of yardage. They're known she's as lollies. 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 She's Australian, isn't she? She is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's so had several ranges of them. And they all go together beautifully. Oh, I love that about fabric designers. So, Kath, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Mm. I'm going to ask you to show us the other quilts. Certainly. Yes, Because, <laughs> of course, Kath's a quilter. Okay. This one will be for my own bed sometime really? you know, in the next century. In the probably. next century. Okay, let's yeah. see this one. Oh, this is great fun. So this one's another with secondary design. Oh, look. So, oh, I like that one. It's big. In a barn raising. It's a yeah. decent size. Barn raising? So you've got them going into yes, the I centre. See, yes, I see yeah. that second. That, yes, so you'd have to be standing back from this to see. You would, you've to got, see all the stars yeah, in exactly, the white. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, and the, the fabric range on this one? Hazelwood. Hazelwood. Uh, one can you two for Oda. Oh, I don't know those people. Okay, where do you get your fabric from? She Varies. Asks. Varies. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. A lot from Fobbles in Cumbria. Okay. From my friend Bev. Um, yeah. and Fobbles uh, some... in Cumbria. Yes. Right, we'll be yes. checking Fobbles out. You'll be probably spending quite a lot of money at the Festival of Quilts, I'm thinking. Uh, um, yes. A bob or two. <coughs> you know, I've, rumor, yeah. I've, got a, uh, I've got a rule for when I go to the Festival of Quilts. Mm. I decide how much I'm going to spend. <laughs> Once I've spent twice that, I then go and find a cash point. <laughs> quite. Really. Tea. <laughs> so let's have a look at another one then. These are great. Oh, it's really nice to see so many unfinished quilts. Yeah, I'm not, you're not the only one. No, def- so girls, you can, uh, guys, you can you start, feeling, up. start feeling better about yourselves. Ooh, now then, what's going on with this one? Wow, that's, ooh, yes, I'm seeing. Look Back at to that. the secondary block. Yes, yeah. there we are. And, oh, lovely. You might have guessed to do like my style quilts. Yes, yes, I'm seeing that. <laughs> that's really nice so you're going to get these on your frame, on your quilting machine one day maybe towards Christmas if I'm lucky but yeah. you'll keep keeping me busy so. okay. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's not the last one uh, no. I like I tell you something I'm dead impressed with how big they are 
Well, I have a super king bed. Yes, exactly. So, and that was partly how I got into long arm quilting. I kept making bigger quilts. Yeah, okay. So, so then I needed to make quilt them. Quilting. Okay, let's have a look at this one. I'll help you put them back again. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like a trunk show, isn't it? It is, yeah. Cast trunk show. Yeah, cast trunk show. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Twisted. Ah, oh, yeah, you see. Here more we go stars. again. <gasps> oh, I love this one. More white space on this one. No. Much more background. This is uh, just half square triangles. Yeah, it's very simple. That's all that's going yeah. on here is if you just break the block down. I always like to try and break the block down, half square triangles. Do you have a big design board uh, or do you just no. lay it all out on your kitchen table? Yeah, no one can eat till I'm done. No yeah. one can eat till you're done. Pretty okay. much, yeah. I get that. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't know how I'd manage without my design board. Yeah. But it's this... on, my, on my dream list, but then of course yeah. I keep having to fill it with yes, custom exactly. quilts and wadding. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> but this is the simplest half square triangle block. Yeah. Uh, put together in this fantastically big, bold way. Another beautiful thing. So do you buy um, extra wide backing? Yes. For, yes. For, you know, or do you piece backing ever? Um, I do, but once they get over about 80 yeah. inches, it tends to be more economical actually to use wide back. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. otherwise you'd need three horizontals. Exactly. You'd need the two exactly. horizontal seams, three pieces. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I one. tend to go for Is it. that it? No. Oh, oh, of course it's no, not no, it. No, no, one more. This one's a bit different. <gasps> Ooh, oh, this one's all this batiks. One. Is it? Yes. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with batiks, but I think I'm going to love this. Yes, I do. <laughs> I like the grey very, 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 very much. Ah, you see. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a throwaway comment about you liking stars, no, was it? No, not at all. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. This is lovely. Yeah. I'm liking this. That's Black Grey Moda Cross Weave. It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Good old Moda. Yeah, my favourite. And so, yeah, I, I, think I, I, I think I probably had a bad experience with batiks. They can be hard to sew with. I just didn't like, maybe I didn't like the first few that I ever played around with. Yeah. But there's some lovely ones here. I think it's having the confidence to just mix them. Yeah. Um, this is just batiks and cross weave, but I like mixing batiks in with prints as well. I know not everyone does. It's again a bit of a marmite thing. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I really like that quilt. And I like it. I like the grey of it as well. I do. I like to try and mix it up and not just do white backgrounds. Exactly. Exactly. And I wanted Ooh. to let the colours shine on this one. They're great, they are. Oh, I like that one. So most of these are still here, not just because of time, but because I can't decide how to quilt them yet. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that's I think that's perfectly fair. Yeah. You know, I, I think I have the record over there on three and a half years in a in a suitcase. No, uh, I don't. One of my ladies I... managed nineteen years under okay, the sofa. Okay, all right, all right. So I feel better. Okay, I feel <laughs> instantly better. Instantly better. Really sweet. Thank you so much for showing us those. You're welcome. Pleasure. They're absolutely glad I asked. <laughs> I knew there'd be a bag somewhere with a few quilt tops in. Always. Always. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. I You're hope welcome. you put them away now. What does um, Jenny call it? Holders and folders. Oh no, that's um, yeah. the, the other woman. What's her? What, what's the quilt little woman called? Oh, um, Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie. She has uh, holders and folders when yeah, she does her quilt, it, yeah. quilt shows. Holders and folders. Right, well, absolutely excellent. So we'll put these away. Oh, yeah, and just a few. We'll be on <laughs> our way. <laughs> so what are we looking at here, Kath? So this is a sample design sewn in three different weights of Aurifil cotton thread. Okay. okay. 50 weight at the left, which is what I typically quilt edge to edge okay. quilts with. So you just get the impression of texture. Your quilting doesn't dominate. Okay. And then someone asked me, Philippa Naylor, for something more strident. So we then did a 40 weight, which Trial. is Aurifil's long arm thread. Okay. Or 28 weight. And look at the difference. Yeah. It's like uh, uh, HB pencils, isn't it? <laughs> yes. But this one is um, the heavier weight Aurifil. Yes. 40, 50. Okay, that's really interesting. Really so we're interesting. going to use this. Yeah. Good. And you'll see a huge, huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah, I like that. Excellent. So this is your little this is my piece. stick it on. Yeah, I like that. So you can see that e we still use fifty in the back. Yeah. Ah. So you so, still have so fifty you, on the. So twenty eight yeah. weights for the front, the front for the yes. visuals of it. Yes. And, and and yeah. Underneath. Underneath, it's the same. Yes, the same weight. Weight. Yeah. It's yeah. the twenty fifty, 50 weight. weight. Yeah. I'm glad you use Aurifil. I use Aurifil all the time. I really like them. Yeah. 
Oh, that was interesting. Everything's interesting, though. Too much to see here. Yeah. You'll have to come back. There is. I'll be coming back when the quilts are to collect. Absolutely. Okay, so thanks for that. I think, thank you. I think that might be the third time we've ended this video, and then there's something more interesting to see. So that might be it this time. What do you think? So, um, Kate just told me I have to ask you about the quarry. Yes. So this house was built um, turn of the 19th century. Okay, for the manager of Course Hill Quarry. Mm. Course Hill Quarry it makes the beautiful red fine grained sandstone that is actually the base of the Statue of Liberty wow. and has also been used for the nearby memorial to those quil killed um, on the Panine flight that uh, crashed at Lockerbie. Oh. So, this was the manager's house and also the offices. Wow! So, uh, a Very bit of history there for you. Yeah, <laughs> super interesting. Just telling you about the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, really That's great. That's what my house is built on. The same yeah. stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. Well, we've had a great trip. This is the video that just keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> we do our best. We do. So have a great time at the Festival of Quilts, and we will see you soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.